Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for September. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Happy birthday! So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Virgo for the month of September, but keep in mind that this may not resonate the exact day that you watch it. Okay, this is a preview. Okay, just keep that in mind. If you'd like a reading, you can send me an email and I can tell you what I got. Um, but this is for Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? Month of September. One card for Virgo. This is just an overall energy, please. <laughs> oh dear, I just saw the Nine of Wands. So facing life challenges with all the strength you can muster. So you may be dealing with some life challenges. I mean, hey, that is life, right? Um, but that is a card of strength as well. So you do have the strength to do so. What's this? Oh, we got two. We're going to take them both. Temperance. This is a card of blending, compromising, working together, changing, evolving. There's a reason. There's a purpose. Timing. Timing. And the emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It looks like this person, I'm not sure if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. This guy has everything in order. He's about re ready to express himself. He's about ready to take action. So this could be you. This could be, this could be um, somebody else. Um, this is divine timing. It's like the time is now. So something could be happening in September. Um, something that you have been waiting for. I'm not sure what. Um, this could be a husband, this could be a father, this is somebody that is very dominant, this is somebody that is very protective. Whatever it is, everything is in order, and the time is now. So, and this could be right around the 14th, something could happen around the 14th, I don't know what. That just came to me, I don't usually give dates, but that just came to me. Um... Now, this is a change, okay? The Temperance card is a change, okay? It's evolving. Um, but it looks like it, everything is in order, so it's time for a change. Hmm. There's a reason. There's a reason. So, but the, remember, I saw that Nine of Wands. There's some sort of challenge that is coming up. Okay, maybe you're, you're feeling very challenged with this change that you are about to experience or you know that is coming, whatever. Whatever the case is. Jeez, I'm crow, I just saw it again. So Nine of Wands is very, very prominent here. This is about strength. You're going to need some strength this month because something is changing. That is the truth. The world, you may not even get closure. This is the world card reverse. Something could be changing and you don't get the closure that you were seeking. Um, there could be a feeling of emptiness. I'm just being honest with you. No closure. Incomplete. Something is incomplete. There's unfinished business, perhaps. This is the... Uh, this is the Knight of Pentacles. There's something coming to a complete halt. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Something is coming to a complete halt. You're going to receive some sort of message. Okay, this is the Eight of Wands. Something is going to happen very, very quickly. Um, and it's going to spring you in a new direction of some sort. Ooh, Magician reversed. Um, hmm. You could be dealing with a trickster. You could be dealing with somebody who is very cunning. So just be careful. Just be careful. Um, judgment reversed. Six of Wands reversed and the Ten of Wands. Somebody is breaking free. Somebody is breaking free. They're dropping something. Could be dropping weight. Make sure you're not lying to yourself. Make sure you're not deceiving yourself. You could be dealing with somebody that's lying to you. 
just be careful. I mean, this is right around the corner. Your challenge is accepting the truth. This is in the challenge position. And that's the karma card, or the judgment card. It's a card of karma as well. Lack of awareness. You may not even see this coming. So you may not be aware that your life is about to change. And it's going to be a challenge to accept. Now this is a card of absolution. To accept an ending. Okay? Because this is an ending. So you may be challenged to accept that something is ending. Okay? That may be the challenge. Accepting it. Um, Six of Wands. There's no victory. There's no progress. There's, there's no success with the Six of Wands reversed. So this is a message, something happening very, very quickly. The Eight of Wands is, is, is news arriving very, very quickly out of the blue. I think that you're ready, even though, I think that you're ready for it. I think that you are, even though it's a challenge. Ten of Wands is, is, is breaking free. This is a card, reversed. This is making a conscious change. There's that page of pentacles. This is starting over. You are about to start from the very beginning again. Start Starting basic. I mean, it's not the fool, but it could be. Okay, because and I, start, I started to get the goosebumps. This is starting from scratch. You know, learning new things. Uh, starting from the re very beginning. You may You may be receiving a message from somebody that gives you an opportunity to... Uh, rebuild something or to start a new enterprise you maybe you're going to start a new job you you could be getting an apology from somebody this is something this is pretty positive but but it's not all positive i'm just being honest to you honest with you but this is a positive new beginning this is she has the ace of pentacles in her hand so this is a opportunity for you to build your build something build something that could prosper Oh, Ten of Pentacles. And then you are definitely going in the Nine of Pentacles. So you're about to, I mean, this is very financially, you're about to, you could be getting some money from somebody. You could be getting a raise, a new job, a bonus. Okay, this does have to do with your legacy or it has to do with your family. Um, it has to do with your home. Somebody, Some of you could be purchasing a new home. You could be moving home. You could be moving into a new home, going your own direction. This is the Nine of Pentacles. You know, deciding to, you know, do it by yourself. I feel like um, this is, this. There's, there's an opportunity to gain a lot of prosperity during this month, a lot of money. An increase in your money is coming. If you were worried about that, I'm telling you right now, you don't need to worry about that because I see that there is some money coming in. You could be getting it as a gift. You could be getting a raise or a bonus or an inheritance or whatever it is. Um, you could be, maybe, I mean, this is, you could be, I mean, but the world card reversed. The, the, and the knight of pentacles reversed. Something could be coming, there could be something that coming to a complete halt in your home or in your job and you, and you and, or it did, because this is kind of like the past. And you, maybe you didn't think because you, you were unaware that you were going to find something better. If you're worried, I'm telling you right now, you're going to find something better. This is turning silver into gold. Okay, that's what that is. So, I'm telling you what. <laughs> you are about to get something better. Okay, just keep that in mind. Something good is coming to you. Um, and this is a con making a change. So the, you, things are about to change for the better. But right around the corner, there is some deception. Before this money comes in, or this stability, or this security, this new home, or some of you could be literally um, starting over on your own. Maybe you're starting your own business, or you are leaving your re old relationship, or whatever the case is. So the Nine of Pentacles is doing it by yourself, going your own way, enjoying the finer things in life. By yourself. This is a card of independence. The storm is over. This is also an increase in money. So you definitely have an increase in money here. Um, or an increase in security. Or increase in stability. And with the emperor card. The emperor. The emperor card. That's very secure and stable as well. So. And that is a, an entrepreneur. So some of you. If you, ha if you have your own business. And you've been worried about your revenue. Your revenue is about to go up. Okay. 
I think that there's a lot of organization here with the emperor. There's a lot of attention to detail and whatever it is that you've been doing, it's about to pay off. Whether it's in your job or your own business or whatever it is, you're about to get some sort of payoff. But right around the corner with the magician reversed, you've got to be careful because there's some trickery. There's some deception. There's some lies. And see, there's tears right here. This is the Queen of Queen of um, Wands. There's tears. She has tears. Okay. So this is a new vision. So this is a new vision. And on, some of you are about to take on something new. Okay. This is the, take on something new that is going to grow. It may be a little scary. You may be afraid. You may be upset that you have to leave something else behind, but you have the power in your hands. You are a force to be reckoned with. You have the skills. You have the ability. You just have to be confident. You have to wipe those tears off. <laughs> Open your eyes and look forward. Don't look back. Find your strength to let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of. Four of Cups, this is discontent. You don't want to grow old, you know, from young to old. I mean, if you continue to think about this and overanalyze and analyze and analyze, you're going to grow old alone or you're going to grow old worrying. You don't want to waste your time. Don't waste any more time, please. I feel like it's time for you to make a decision. You have an opportunity that will be very emotionally fulfilling for you. Take it. Don't waste any more time. Open your eyes and take it. This can grow into something. Some of you are about to uh, work, really uh, make a conscious change to focus on your business. To focus on your job. And that's, this newfound focus is going to really, really pay off. This is the Empress reversed. Oh God, the Empress reversed. This is not really taking care, not really taking care of yourself, not really taking care of your family. <laughs> and I'm probably like, oh no, 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 I take really good care of my family. I know you do. I know you do. So um, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't take very good care of their family. The Empress reversed is a mother who... May be too focused on her money, so just be careful. Be careful, okay, because you need to make sure that you are not neglecting your children. I mean, I know what she is. Anyway, you could be, this could also be experiencing some pain. You may be still dealing with some pain. You may be still feeling some pain. You may not know your value. You may not know your worth. Maybe maybe you're you're grieving over, you know, going your own way because of your children. Maybe you're afraid, you know, that you won't be forgiven or you're afraid of how your children will take whatever change this is. There's a change here. I feel like being a mother really affects this decision, whatever it is that you are about to make. Six of Pentacles. You're definitely about to receive some sort of payout. Okay, there's a lot of money here. There's definitely a lot of money here. You're about to get something that you deserve. But this three, this Empress Reverse, this is suffering. I mean, suffering over your children. And that could be the case. You may be really struggling to release. Oh, this is Judgment Reverse. Struggling to release something that is not successful because of your children. Oh, son of a bitch. That is exactly what this is. Oh my God. So anyway, I feel like you are about to receive something that is going to help you. If you're worried about money, don't worry about it because your, your money is going to be fine. And see the tears? I feel like you got this, it's like you want something more passionate and you have this new passionate opportunity and I feel like you're, there's, there's tears over the children, you know, there's tears over something to do with the children. Um, five of Pentacles, it's like there's, there's, a, the Five of Pentacles is insecurity. Oh my God, this is like, oh my God, um, what is everybody going to think? 
Where did, what happened? What happened? Don't let yourself be a victim to this circumstance. Queen of, oh, this is the page of cups. This is the page of cups reversed. You may, you may be looking for something more. I think that you are. I think we have somebody here that may be not really available for, for love, not really open to love right now because you're, you, you're experiencing some sort of loss or you're about to experience some sort of loss and it has to do with, you know, a separation of some sort. I don't know if it's a separation from your job or a separation from your family or whatever, but whatever this loss is, you know, you need to go after what you're passionate about. You have to follow your own heart. And I feel like you haven't been ha following your own heart. And I feel like we have somebody that hasn't been following their own heart because, you know, of their own insecurities, their own fears, their own victim mentality. Um, High Priestess reverse. There's some sort of repression here. We have somebody here that has really been suffering, not listening to their intuition, not telling the truth about how they're how, how they truly feel. And I feel like the truth is about to come out. There's definitely been some deception. Maybe this is what this is. I think that you can't hide it anymore. I think that you can't. Four of Swords. Extreme exhaustion. We got somebody here that is extremely exhausted and, and growing resentful with each passing day. There's a, there, we have somebody here that is contemplating following their heart, but they aren't doing it. And I think it has to do with the children. I think that it's time for you to ex ac accept change. It's time for you to deal with the pain. I think that you're trying to avoid the pain. So the Empress Reverse could be trying to avoid pain because you have to deal with pain to get your miracle. So you may be avoiding some sort of painful release because of, I think it does have to do with children, but anyway, I think, it, or it has to do with the money to support the children or whatever the case is, but there's the, the, the this is a repression, the high priestess, there's a loss of self, somebody has experienced a loss of self and they're not, they're not dealing with the pain, they, you have to deal with the pain to get the blessing, the miracle. Is this like you're not aware that you have to deal with the pain. And this is not aware. And this is not aware. You have to deal with pain. It's a life lesson. And the world card is a life lesson. But this is re reverse. It's like you have to learn this lesson whether you like it or not. Anyway, Virgo, I feel as though, you know, for some of you, your approach, this is in your approach position. Just do it. You have the skills. Go your own way. You will prosper. You will be self-sufficient. You will have everything you need. You will be given every opportunity to succeed. And you will succeed. So my advice is to walk away. It's the Eight of Cups. From whatever it is that you are not in love with. So in August, it appears... <laughs> That you're going to be analyzing. This is right now. You're analyzing. You're going to be analyzing this exhausting situation. And hopefully taking action. Because she takes action. Even though it hurts. Good luck.